Yesterday I brought you a video about a little problem on the Calais beach where a boat didn't inflote which was supposed to bring 50 migrants across the channel into Old Blighty and they were seen trotting off across the sand dunes back to a bus stop and probably disappeared to God knows where. Well, <laughs> I want to bring you a little update that I saw this morning on the news and I thought, mm, this is never going to work, but never mind, let's uh, go, go through this, shall we? Have you ever heard of the Calais Group? Yeah, me neither until this morning. What it is, it, apparently, it's a group of uh, European European countries, which happen to include us, even though arguably we're not in Europe, uh, who are supposed to get together to try and find ways of making it difficult for the boats to get across the channel. Now, I know, and I've said repeatedly, what needs to happen. Stop them leaving the shore in the first place problem solved but what they seem to be concentrating on is the boats themselves as we saw from the video uh, that i brought out i think it was yesterday wasn't it these boats are very cheaply made put together with sticky back plastic bits of rope and possibly even blue tack i'm being facetious there and they fail uh, you know some of them don't even get themselves in a position where they can leave the shoreline and others just tip over and sink halfway across. And, you know, it's it's terrible. And with the size of them as well, some of them can carry 50 plus from what I'm, I'm led to believe. Well, anyway, this Calais group has decided that they're going to put in tough measures. Yes, tough measures to disrupt the supply chain. Apparently, all of these boats, the components of them are made up from uh, backstreet factories in places like china well you had to have that didn't you and then they're all shipped through uh europe um, onto the beaches of france where they're obviously dealt with loaded up and packed off over here and what they're talking about is trying to disrupt those supply chain supply lines by getting tougher on customs checks now i don't know about you but if i was in the frame of mind for getting something from a to b without getting caught i wouldn't be going through customs areas now would i uh where checks could possibly be carried out i'd be doing my best to circumvent them i i personally think this is a load of old cobblers like everything else they come out with regarding this subject i mean you know the one day record was broken not so long ago with the number of people that came across uh, you know, somewhere near 400, something like that. Absolutely ridiculous and more nonsense. And cleverly is still saying or peddling the rubbish that crossings were down by 36%. Now, this comes from the Christmas period where it was bloody freezing, choppy waters, and it wasn't worth the risk. So all in all, I, I don't think this is really going to amount to anything, and I can't see it making any difference. Let me know what you think in the comments. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. Give me your thoughts. Hit the like button. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Oh, and here's another video. Toodaloo.